I don't need to know the real physics. I need to know how we engineer to achieve those physics. My name's Gideon Hammond and I'm Operations Manager here at Tokamak Energy. I work right the way through from the tools to the paperwork. One day I could be wiring stuff in, I could be doing some drawings, I could be doing some paperwork to back up what we're actually achieving out there, anything. I did my apprenticeship very much sort of dancing around fusion on various projects and it's very much sort of drilled into you that fusion is the future. Over my shoulder here is a large purpose-built oven for preconditioning the inner vacuum chamber of our new device, ST40. What you're looking at here is really in the heart of the machine. There's only one thing inside there, and that's the centre column, which has got all the diagnostics for looking at the plasma formation, etc. When I first started on ST25, it was a small room based at Cullum, so we started with very little. So I put the first one together. Since then, it's just sort of grown and grown. So we moved on from that to doing a high temperature superconducting version of that one. And so that was ST25 HDS. And now we're on ST40, in, which is a fair bit bigger. We've just been down to LTI on the park. These are the people that are producing the IVC for us, which is going to go into this oven. They've got about a week, maybe two weeks of finishing work to do on the vessel. It then goes away for a, a cleaning process, comes back, the seals will go in it, it'll be closed up and then we're into doing some vacuum testing. Here is the centre section of our inner vacuum chamber for our new Tokamak. The moment we are baking, conditioning and vacuum testing the inner vacuum chamber, this is the chamber that the plasma is formed in, it's so far inside the machine that we really have to be very certain that it's in good condition, that it has no vacuum leaks and there are no issues with it so that when we go for it we can build it right in there and not worry about it. The thing about ST40 is that I just imagine that day when it really is a true device sat there in all its glory and it's doing its job. I mean there's a, quite a small team involved in this and I, I just think it'll be a fantastic thing. When we get that first plasma and, and, and you know what the zone is to get plasma and you know from that minute on it's every day it should grow and get better and better then that's what drives you on.